I recently made a video all about the Wii U gamepad. While getting footage for that video, I realized my decade-old Wind Waker HD save file had suddenly vanished. Luckily, I'm in the middle of a new save on my INEO Flip DS using Simu. Given how interconnected Simu files tend to be with Wii U files, I should have been able to easily copy my save from my Flip DS to my Wii U with no hassle, right? Well, sort of. It's true that it's an incredibly easy process, but only once you actually know how to do it. So in this video, let's go over the steps of transferring a save file from Simu to a Wii U and vice versa. That way you won't end up like me who spent way too much time digging through old forums for a hint to the answer. Before doing anything, you're gonna need a few things. Number one, a Wii U with custom firmware. If you haven't gone through this process yet, you're in luck because it's easier now more than ever. Just go to Wii U Hacks and follow their step-by-step -step process. It'll take you maybe 10 minutes, and you know I'm gonna drop a link in the video description in case you need to follow it. Number two, an SD card for your Wii U. If you've gone through the custom firmware route already, you probably already have one. Use that. If not, just so you know, anything above 32 gigabytes will likely need to be reformatted to FAT32 before use. I personally use a cheap 32 gigabyte micro SD card and a full size SD card adapter, and I've never needed anything larger. Number three, an SD to USB card adapter. If your Simu device doesn't already have one, this is purely to get files from your Wii U to your computer. And then finally, number four, have your computer running Simu within arm's reach. You'll need to swap between devices a couple times, so it's best to have them huddled in the same room. Once you've got all that cleared, do yourself a favor and launch any games whose saves you want to transfer at least once on both systems, your Wii U and Simu. Technically, this is optional, but it'll save you some time and effort later by setting up all the appropriate folders and files, especially with Simu. Creating game directories from scratch is a hassle, and it's best to avoid it altogether. Okay, with all that in place, uh, let's cover how to back up game saves on each system. To make things easier for yourself, I'd recommend going through the process for both Simu and Wii U at least once, even if you're only intending to back up files from one. Again, it'll help you set up the right folders and save you effort later. Let's start with Simu. All save files in Simu are stored in your MLC folder in the general path shown on the screen. If you're not sure where your MLC folder is, Go into your general settings and look for the box labeled MLC path. Within that folder are a bunch of different folders named with letters and numbers. Each of these folder names corresponds to the IDs of the various games in your library. To check which folder corresponds to which game, simply launch Simu and look at the title ID column in your game list. Even easier, you can select a game Right click on that game and choose save directory. A new file explorer window will open to the exact folder you need. In each folder, the user folder will be what contains your actual save files. Within that folder, you'll see one or more subfolders, each with names starting with eight. You should have one folder per account created with a save file. To check which folder corresponds to which account, Check out the account section of your general settings in Simu. That number should display next to your account name. To back these files up, simply copy each folder to a separate location and, well, that's it. Next up, the Wii U, equipped with your SD card. For this use case, we'll be using an app called Save Me. If you haven't already, you should be able to find it in the Homebrew App Store. After launching the app, it'll complete a search for all games on the system and ask if you want to look for Wii or Wii U save files. In this case, select the Wii U save management option. Then it'll take you to a list of games where you'll select the game you want to back up and select backup save data. Finally, you'll choose which save slot to save to, zero is perfectly fine, as well as the user account with the save data you want to back up. When all is set, tap the A button to start the backup process. 
You'll see the screen go black with a bunch of white text pop up showing the different save files the app's referencing, and then after less than a minute, it should kick you back to the save data screen. From here, just exit the app and shut down your system. Once fully shut down, you can remove your SD card and plug it into your computer. You should see your game saves in the Wii U backup folder on your SD card. Similar to Simu, you should see a folder for each backed up saved named with the game's title ID containing subfolders numbered according to your save slots and your user account that you selected. Again, if you're unsure which folder goes to which game, just check out the title ID listed in your Simu home menu. And as with before, if you just want to back up these save files, be sure to just copy these folders to another safe spot. Now with saves from either source backed up, let's take those saves and move them between systems. Once more, starting with Simu. Simu's extremely basic. Start by connecting your Wii U's SD card to your computer, locate your game's save directory in Simu, and find the similarly named folder within your SD card's Wii U backup folder. Copy the contents of your Wii U's user folder from your SD card to the user folder in your Simu save directory. To apply your new save files to your account, make sure the folder you just copied over is named with your account number. Otherwise, the save data won't show up when you launch the game. Once set up, launch your game. If you don't see your save data, close the game, check your folder names, and try again. For Wii U, you'll start by connecting your Wii U's SD card to your computer, just like with Simu. Then you'll need to locate your game's save directory in Simu and find the similarly named folder within your SD card's backup folder. If you've backed up data from multiple Wii U accounts, take note of the account numbers shown in the folder, especially the one which you're looking to copy save data for. Copy the contents of your user folder from the Simu save directory to the user folder in that backup folder. Then make sure the account folders from Simu have the same account number as the names of those from your Wii U. While not strictly required, doing so now will save you some mental frustration later on. After verifying your folder names, eject your SD card, insert it into your Wii U, and boot up the system. Start by going to Save Me's Wii U Save Management. Select the game whose save data you want to update, and select Restore Save Data. On this screen, you'll select the save slot and user data you want to copy from the SD card to the Wii U. From here, you'll need to select the account number from your SD card whose data you want to restore to the account number on your Wii U. Again, much easier if your folders are named correctly to start with. Once you point the system toward the correct locations, press A to start the restoration process. Once you've restored the save data, close the app, launch your game, and verify that the correct save data has been copied. If you don't see your save data, close the game and either shut down the system to recopy the files from Simu, or try copying from a different account number using Simu. Once you've done all that, your save file should be in the correct position and you should be able to play on whatever system you'd like. Overall, moving save data, once you know the steps, should only take a few minutes. My biggest hurdle has been matching the different account numbers, which is why I keep emphasizing to double check your work. As some additional recommendations, whenever you transfer save files like this, also take the time to copy the folders to an entirely separate drive or cloud storage in case one of your systems breaks or you accidentally overwrite something you shouldn't have. I personally lost my original save files from the 2010s years ago due to an external drive failure. If I had have been more diligent in backing up my save data, I would have had an easy method to restore everything when that failure happened. Additionally, while you're going through the hassle of backing up saves, make sure to back up your games, DLC, and updates, and make sure they're stored somewhere safe as well. If you're unsure how to do that, dumpling is the way to go. I'll have our previous video, Stepping Through How to Make That Work, linked in the description. Also in the description, I'll have links to SD cards, readers, and written guides going over the Wii U custom firmware installation process. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. No guarantees I'll have the answer for you, but I do my best to at least point folks in the right direction with these videos. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was at least helpful for someone. Um, but that's going to be all for now. Until next time, catch you later.